obsidian. Input, hang up. Sounds fun. Um, another unblockable.
Alright people, hi. Today I will be showing you how to build a simple base in Rust. You can start building pretty much right from the start of the game. First, set foundations like this. Make sure everything's upgraded to start. Then, place walls all around, leaving one room open in the corner for you to see. And leaving one thing open for your door. The door goes right here. You should have the roof. And remember always to put locks and doors down. This is a really easy base to build right away. And let's see, I can show you how to make your loot rooms. First off, we place TC. TC goes right here. You can try to line it up. Ooh, wait a minute. Just kind of slow on slash. Apparently the building curve over here is messed up. Where's this TC at? Hello guys, say I'm on my, I am on a build server and I will show y'all how to build a simple starter base. And just, first you want to place three triangle foundations like this. There's two foundations branching off of that and another three triangle foundations. Then you want to place walls like so. the door here. Be sure to put it in the roof. But yeah, this design is a upgradable bunker. TC will go right here <clears throat> across from the door. You can place a little bit in. And then place a doorway over that. See, it's kind of flush to the wall. Now, 
you can build shelves to put in. Let's say they're placing a wall, half walls, facing the shelf. You can move here and you can move it. And do that on both of the storage rooms. And you want to make sure everything in here is soft sided. And then you can add garage doors. Which I'm going to leave open for the duration of this video. And then boxes. This is where is the light box here? There can fit four large boxes in the loot rooms. You place them right, of course. I always mess up the placement. That's fine, you can just remove them. Pick them up, start again. This corner ones are always a little tricky to get. We keep messing up. There you go. See four boxes here. Just close these. And you want to keep it as far back against the wall as you can. Three looms are set up, like so. And then you can have your workbench over here in the corner, as well as furnaces over here. And you can keep furnaces away from this wall, but you still want it to be able to loot your <coughs> storage here. And you can place a bag right here. You respawn in if you unfortunately die, and you can place a rug on the roof of country, which is a buff in game. As well, once you are done with that, you can grab a vending machine and you put the vending machine over the TC. So as you can see, you can place this over the TC, and by doing so, just to cover the corner, and right where it says open, click, gives you access to your tool cupboard, but when people try blowing in from the side, it makes it a lot harder to get to there. So here is the first part of the base. And this is what you'll start off with when you first join a server. <coughs> and has two loot rooms on either side. Really hard TC to get into, and it looks like this from the outside. Now, farther on into the game, you can get ladder hatches. And ladder hatches will enable you to do a lot with this base and turn it into a proper bunker. So now I'm going to disable no clip. Got a building plan. And show you how to do this. First, you want to seal this wall. So now there's no way in or out. You place half walls like so and then you can place your ladder hatch out of it right ahem <clears throat> place a triangle floor thumb and then you can place your ladder hatch ladder hatch can go any way you want open it and then you're on the second story of your base 
Now on this story, we're gonna do what's called a pancake layer, which is adding a half layers and basically putting a separate room in between the other base and then the outside of the room. This makes it harder for people to get into this. Make sure you get all the floors. Now you can add this right here, garage door. I basically copy the same base layout as the yard below. And right here you can put a door. This is going to be the main exit. Walls there. You can finish up the entire side right here. Demolish that. And now uh, you can keep as many boxes as you can fit down here. Try to put just enough in the corners. And you should be able to fit four if you actually do the placement right. But as you can see, I'm messing up quite a lot. And you can put garage doors over that. My box placement today is really bad. But yeah, you get the gist. Put garage doors over that. Garage doors over the entrance. Garage door right there. And then, from here, <coughs> building plan. And, do a little bitty wraparound. Do all the walls and everything. Covered. Here and go out, place a foundation like so, and then you can place a roof. And the roof will allow you to serve as a ramp, pretty much. It will allow you to just climb up, up to your base and hop in. This also adds another layer of protection. Uh, for pretty much the entire base. So you can run around and just place external foundations all over the base. And these you want to turn into honeycomb. Basically a layer in between the base and the outside world on this side. And you can see how the walls are smoother. This wall is smoother than the other ones. That's supposed to be the inside, so you can just break it. And you can even upgrade your entire base to shoot metal if you want. And then you can add ramps to your heart's content. This one's a little awkward, but it's fine. And this just, once again, adds another barrier in between your base and the outside world. So when people are trying to blow in, it is very more expensive. And yeah. Finish up the honeycomb. You can place a room in the honeycomb if you would like, which I'm going to show how to do that. And this can be served as a storage room, or you can expand it to be a barn if you want to keep animals. Put a sheet metal door on that. And then underneath the ramps, you want to place full walls. The game will automatically correct you to a triangle wall. This can be used and that's the base. Add another seal to the base. And you can do that for all the ramps. And finish up the honeycomb. So here's our bunker base. 
it is one, two, three doors. Four, four doors and a vending machine to get to the TC. <coughs> and that is already a C4 plus the C4 it would take to get through the living doors. So you're looking at a 10 C4, 20 rapid rate already. And it's even more expensive to go through the walls. So it's just a solid base design for anyone starting here. You can have more loot rooms here, you can have more furnaces, you can have whatever you do in the top storage. Just be warned people can camp outside, which you can add auto turrets to defend on either side. All you have to do is connect them to the base properly. Which you can also do by taking this, running out with it, see if I can do it properly. Add a full floor right here. And this allows hmm. we'll serve as some problem building right there. So what I'm gonna do is go on either side, demolish this, demolish this, and instead of going out, he's here. But that allows a room for turrets to be. Turrets are items. So yeah, place two turrets right here. Anyway, that make it to where when people walk up, they just get shot instantly if they try coming in to your front door area. You can wire the base, which I'll be showing in another video. But yeah, here's the base. Thank you for watching.